So, to do the design for your kimono, I suggest you start with a collar, come straight out, come straight out, because it's on a bar that you slip in the sleeves of the actual robe itself. Come down about halfway your paper. What you do on one side, repeat on the other. And then you're going to have the actual body of the robe itself. So now you have your kimono on display. I want you to think of a pattern that you can use that you can fill this up with, something that won't drive you completely crazy. So I've done an example of this that we'll be using in class. Um, it's got rabbits on it. And these fancy little symbols are called Japanese fans. They're super easy to do. You simply make fish scales. And each one has three in it. And they look really cool. So it could be things like that, like Japanese fans. We're talking about fans. It could literally be Japanese fans repeated over and over and over again. So there's the round kind of fan, and then your typical excuse me. Both would be seen on maybe a kimono. What you do to one side, you do want to think about balance and symmetry. You can have arches, not quite rainbows, but arches that spread throughout your kimono. So it could be, let's see here, cranes, it could be lotuses, it could be birds, butterflies, uh, from monsukis. It's usually a symbol of power. You saw the falconry, which was only reserved for men back in the day, as one of their um, symbols of power. So tigers, samurai helmets, samurai swords, those kind of things can be used in a monsuki along with a kaman. So this is more of a kimono, but if you did monsuki, you would have one, two, three, come on, as those samurai symbols, and you can use one from the video if one strikes your fancy. So yes, you can use a Triforce on your monsuki as you design it. So go ahead, think about what pattern you would want to have all in your kimono. Fully color it. Yes, I said that. Fully colored. I know your parents got something called Amazon. I don't want to hear any kind of excuses to why you can't get colored supplies to your house. <coughs> Excuse me. So, can't wait to see what y'all do. Um, either submit a photo of it in Google Classroom or you have your parents email it to me. Alright, see you soon.